in Newcastle, radio for the North East. Oh, I love a good documentary. Oh, I love a good documentary. Um, on Netflix, it's me. It's the thing I watch more than films, more than TV series. I mm -hmm. love the documentaries. Anyway, there's a fresh new feature-length documentary, first since the 1960s, looking at the past, the present and the future of the Durham Big Meeting. I refuse to call it the, the Miners Gala. I have uh, never been, do you know? I've never, I I've never been to it. You know what shock you? What? The size of it. Yeah. Because Durham's a small city, but 150,000 or so, so people all in one place having marched through the city with all the banners, the colour and yeah. spectacle and the splendour. And then you get down to the, the, the old race course field and there it is, a big carnival and speeches and and the and bands they just the give bands. you goose I, I just love a brass band well maybe you should watch this and then it'll get you going because it's going to be out in autumn but you can catch a sneaky preview this saturday we'll tell you where in a second i had a chat to the director dan draper who himself was shocked by the sheer scale of the big meeting <laughs> when, when i went in 2016 I come back to Liverpool, I tried to tell my friends and family who hadn't been what it was about, and I couldn't put it into words, if that makes sense. Mm. It's just something I felt. I just feel like it represents the sort of the past, the present, and the future of basically the whole of the working class movement for me. I suppose this film, one of the reasons I made it, is just like an elaborate expression of like, how to describe the Durham Miners Gala because I couldn't put it into words so I, I made a 90 minute film to try and do justice to that. And is it right there hasn't been a full length film, I think it was 1963, the last proper documentary about the Big Meeting? Yeah, yeah, so there's never been a dedicated feature about the Big Meeting. Obviously it's featured on sort of news programmes and it's had little bits and bobs but uh, the last sort of dedicated film was 1963 something called gala day which is great actually so i thought yeah the time is right and how do you put it all together what what stands out for you which which shots are you really happy with i think the most moving section for me was within the cathedral because uh, i never i i couldn't go in the cathedral i was elsewhere filming mm. on the day but what the cameramen captured the cathedral was sort of it was quite powerful really and i'm going to make an effort to go to the cathedral this year based on that alone and it, is it tricky to shoot knowing it all happens in one day but that, that it's a small city and it's absolutely jam-packed how do you get from a to b or do you have to be well prepared yeah well it was like a military operation organizing it to tell you the truth <laughs> In our film we had 15 cameras from a drone to some GoPros and then camera operators and everyone was like drilled to the hilt, what to film, how to film it and luckily it, it came off, yeah, we, um, the footage, well you know, it's for people to judge but I think the footage sort of captures you know, an essence of what the gala is for many people. And is this going to be accessible for lots of people? I mean, would the Netflix generation get this as a, as a documentary? I suppose you've had Sunderland Till I Die doing very well. That's translated across to America. Would this travel far and wide? I think so, because fundamentally, it, you know, it's about class. And, you know, I seen a stat the other day, that's 60% of this country is classed as working class so you know if that's true then this is at least relevant for over half the country and you know it's it means so much to so many people that it deserves to be documented and because it does mean so much to so many people I think you know other people should have an interest in it. And have, have you going to egg your family on to come up from Liverpool? Oh yeah definitely uh, <laughs> and my mates it's just a great day I'm looking forward to going up this year so the last two times I was working I was filming but I can relax a bit now and take it in as a sort of spectator and have a, have a few pints. Well, I might bump into you, but it'd be a chance to be a fine thing because it's so busy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's from Liverpool, I think, the director, Dan Ah, it's a just guess. A, just a sneaky guess. The, uh, <laughs> the premiere's held at Red Hills, the brilliant Red Hills Durham Miners Hall, on Saturday, the 22nd of June. Doors open at 6, so there are a few tickets left so that might be worth a sneaky preview and proceeds from the film will be going to Maras Friends of Durham Miners Gala which was established to fund the event following the closure of the collieries um, um, the 135th Durham Miners Gala held on Saturday the 13th of July date for the diary there. Marvellous